You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and we normally on Greater Brockton do um, promotion for nonprofit organizations to help them promote themselves to raise money for the community. We, we happen to get a letter in our post office box from a very industrious young man, Miguel. Welcome, Miguel. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Miguel is a student at Massasoit Community College, 23. Yes. Okay, who is looking to go on, I would, I'll say it's a, a pilgrimage to yes, a certain exactly. extent. It's called World Youth Day in Poland, and he is going to hopefully, with your help, get to see Pope Francis. So let's tell us your story. Tell us why you're trying to do this. Well, why I'm trying to do this, well, it comes down to my experience in my own life. Because as I was young, I grew up in Brockton for most of my youth. Uh, we know the situation here. and. It's a little tough, and I ended up with the wrong crowd, and I ended up uh, really selling drugs and doing the bad things. And when somebody invited me to a few talks, I realized the, how God loved me as I am. And then going to a pilgrimage like this World Youth Day was what really saved me, what really took me out of this, this really bad things where I wanted my dream was to be a drug dealer, really and took me out and made me to be efficient, to be part of society, to want to do good and to help others, really. As, uh, as we know, that's a lot, a lot of need in Brockton and many cities like Chelsea and Lynn where other youth that will be coming with us. Okay, so you are a communicant at St. Patrick's Church right in downtown Brockton. Yes. Right on Main Street. And uh, I'm just going to make sure I get it right. Father... Palombi, is that how you say it? Yes, Father Palombi. Okay, who we met, we've just finished recently covering the St. Patrick's mm -hmm. Day Mass over there. Um, uh, the, the church on Main Street has undergone a transformation over the years. It, it started out as about as Irish Catholic as you could get. Yes, yes. And now it's very diverse. It's a very diverse group of people. Do you feel at home there? Absolutely, absolutely I do. I feel that I'm really part of a community there that um, I know Father Palombi well and he knows me. And so that, uh, you know, I'm able to grow there and feel completely safe and that's like where I belong. Now, Pope Francis yes. is a very impressive man. He's a very yes. humble man. Very. Everything we've seen about him, he's traveled to different parts of the country. He's come here, mm -hmm. not to Boston yet. Not yet, hopefully. Maybe you can work on that I'll and get, get him to Boston. I'll get on it. What do you think? But. Um, it costs a lot of money to go this. We, we don't actually talk about, uh, you, know, mm -hmm. you know, send me this amount of money or whatever, but it's, 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 it's a $3,500 trip for yes. you to go there. And being a college student, mm -hmm. it's no, you don't have $3,500 <laughs> in your back pocket, not. right? No, no, no. I mean, we're working, we're working hard. We're doing fundraisers as we can, but many of the people, including me, um, many of the youth don't have work, and even I who have work right now, we find it very tough to raise this money. Uh, we come, many of us come from low income. I come from low income families and, uh, and really, you know, there's this stuff, this fundraising stuff. So we're looking for, for whatever we can get. Okay, and if people wanted to help you, how yes. would they do that? How would they get in touch with you? Well, they can get in touch with me with either my email address or my phone number, which is, should be there. Um, and just contact me and we can see whatever ways you can help us, really. Either w whether it be with fundraising or anything else, any ideas that you guys may have. Okay, tell us the phone number and the email. 508-580-6630. And my email is miguel222mg at aol.com. AOL, wow, you're a young guy. I'm older <laughs> and my kids like to joke to me that AOL means Older Americans online, that's what they tell me. <laughs> I have a 23-year-old and I have a 26-year-old. Um, so you are, you, you've turned your life around yes. from what you're telling us. You're a student at, uh, and I'll do self-disclosure, I teach <laughs> at Massasoit, so you're in culinary arts in Massasoit. Oh, yes, yes. How's that experience going for you? It's amazing, really. The professors there, um, I came in there with a bad impressions, but the professors there have taught things, turned things around for me because I see how well experienced they are and how much they really do know and love the subjects they teach. Now, I hear from Jay Miller, yes. who works here, that you guys knew each other before. You, he, you volunteered at the Boys and Girls Club. Yes, I did. About four years ago, I think I volunteered for almost two years, just a little bit less than two years. And, um, and it was a wonderful experience, really, to go and help kids and, uh, and to be there and to also gain experience with this. So it, it was very good for me. 
Now, you must have friends that are involved either at the church here or, like you said, a, a couple of churches are, are, are uh, getting together to do this. Yes. Um, how important is the, the friendships, the relationships you've developed with the other people, and what do you think you're going to get out of this if you go? What am I going to get out of this? Um, well, about three years ago, there was another pilgrimage, a smaller one, to Chicago. Um, and before then, I felt very, very lonely. Even though I was going to school, I was working, I felt very lonely. And on this pilgrimage, I met friends that, um, that I can be sincere with, friends that truly we can talk about important things of life, you know, not just music or things above the surface, but we can talk. And this has helped me to, to, to not feel segregated, to not feel alone in society, but to be part of it. And in this World Youth Day, what I am particularly looking for is for help, to go and get a word, maybe from God, from the Pope, to help me because future, hopefully I want to start a family. And I feel that this is fundamental for me, to, to have this word, to have this faith, and to know that, that through it all, God will be there for me always. Now, um, Miguel, Spanish, right? Yes. Okay. So how important is that with your connection with Pope Francis, that he's the first <laughs> pope that's come from a Latin American country? Oh, I think, I think it's quite awesome. It's quite awesome to see that he has that, um, that Latin flair, even, even as humble as he is. Uh, it's awesome to see that he's really he's sincere in who he is. He, doesn't, he is who he is with everybody, with the cardinals, with the presidents, the prime ministers. And it's amazing to see that, to see somebody like him to be as sincere as he is, as humble as he is, always truly to he, who he is. I'm going to tell you something you didn't know. Yes. My dad was born in Havana. <laughs> what do you think about Pope Francis and his involvement in trying to get our president to go on his historic visit he just had to Cuba? I think it, I think it would be good. It, it could do a lot of good. It could do a lot of help for, for everybody. And so... It's something that, you know, that I would like to see, of course. Okay. My last question, I'm not sure what we have for time left. Mm -hmm. We have, okay, I'm going to give you a minute, less than a minute. Talk directly to the camera, talk to the audience, and tell them why they should help you to go on this trip. Why they should help me? Okay. You should help me and also all the other youths that are here because simply, like I said, there are many kids coming from Lynn, Chelsea, and Brockton who have nothing to do, who who are almost stuck in society because of their cultures that they that's around them. And so this is a help for them to go and see other youths around the world that have the same sufferings, that have the same problems, that they're not alone, that they can be better, that they can do better. And uh, to go and meet and have a word of God in this moment in their sufferings and to help me as well to prepare for my future and for my future marriage. Congratulations. Thank you. Much success. And... Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton, make sure you help Miguel out. Thanks for joining us and uh, look for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.